And in the beginning, um, personal growth um, will seem more complicated and more difficult. Um, if you go from being completely um, in a cramp or completely fixed, and then you start to wake up and say, wait a minute, um, I'm in a, a tough shape now. That's uncomfortable. And there's a lot of anger or fear or sadness. And all of those um, have to be sooner or later met and uh, digested and allowed. But that's only a stage. That's only, um, like they say in trauma therapy, um, this only lasts a short while or it's over. Um, if there is a commitment to being with yourself, the uncomfortableness of the self uh, doesn't last that long. And the uncomfortableness of the self um, comes in resisting ourself. I shouldn't be the way I am. I should be different. I shouldn't like this. I should be like this. In the managing of ourselves and the pressure we put on ourselves, the self is uncomfortable. If we learn a friend approach, then the self kind of, okay, even if I'm worried or upset or I fucked up or did something wrong, um, if I can just be present to that, something in that starts to relax and open. And between here and here, um, there's heartfulness. Here, everything is wrong, I'm a mess. I relax with that, be present to it, stay with it. Okay, there's heartfulness. If I can allow that heartfulness just to be there for a little while, comes kindness, and in kindness comes even a little bit more opening. Oh, I can start to see. This is how it is. I'm not blind. I'm not in the past. I'm not a little kid um, anymore. I'm actually an adult. I'm in the present. I can see a little more clearly. I can see my position. I can see your position. I can see as clearly what it's like to be you as it is to be me. And in seeing the whole thing, oh, okay, that's the way it is. It's just a, um, a non-fight when you start to see more clearly. A non-fight. And in that non-fight, something starts to open even more, and there's a feeling of um, warmth. A sweet, sweet, sweet feeling of warmth starts to happen. Uh, it comes like a miracle. Uh, oh, in seeing you and seeing me and seeing, even if we're in conflict or in stress, there's a feeling of warmth. Oh, wow. Um, even conflict opens the potential for warmth and friendliness. It doesn't have to turn into separation and division and cut off and da 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 da. It can actually bring um, even more connection. As we get a little more confident with ourselves, we realize um, it almost always works that way, sooner or later. Uh, being very unpressuring to ourself, that's the self kind of, it's okay the way I am, and being okay the way I am, it starts to expand, expanding, oh, starts to see there's more kindness out here, you start to see the other, you see yourself. Um, there isn't blame, there isn't fear, there isn't guilt, there's just um, commonness, there's just, oh, okay, that's them, that's me, um, you see it all. And then comes kindness again, comes warmth, comes compassion. Compassion for yourself, compassion for the other people. Once you start to feel a little bit this bigger phase field of compassion, the <clears throat> struggle of being yourself really is over.
in the field of compassion you don't fight yourself you don't struggle that 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 phase that struggle is over and what starts to happen as the struggle is over is um, it's almost like fresh air um, comes through your system and instead of struggling against yourself there comes a um, can I really dare to be myself um, do I really let myself live here um, am I really ready not to uh, struggle and create problem or get caught in problem but actually um, I'm ready to live my life I'm looking more for the solutions than the problems I'm a whole lot more interested in um, um, how this thing can work together than in conflict and in stress and, and uh, making trouble. It's just not so interesting. And I'm much more interested in being part of the solution and something that really honors other people and well as honors myself. And that this creativity starts to really open up. And then um, creativity meets challenges. You're going to have some tough times that you wouldn't call it problems in the way you used to call problems problems. Um, creativity kind of needs challenges. Um, in fact, uh, I think my old Buddhist training or whatever, uh, if you don't get yourself in trouble ten times a day, I'd say you're more or less asleep. You know, um, you learn to get yourself in trouble. You enjoy getting in trouble. You uh, go out of your way to fly through a bumpy cloud. Um, not as a way of making trouble in the world, but as a way of expanding creativity, of enjoying um, what the resources are going to get called out of you. Uh, as a therapist and a group leader, I've been working for 30 years and have studied quite a lot and someone says something to me and it wouldn't be that difficult to go into the data bank and say well um, here's the answer from the book and here's what worked in the past but what if you just really let yourself get in trouble and say I don't know and sit there in I don't know and sit there in um, I have to know I should know but I'm going to give myself a chance to discover this uh, just the way it is today and just the way it, uh, the intimacy of this person uh, wants to be met not feed people the answers I know but open to the intimacy of this moment and in the intimacy of this moment uh, maybe there's something I've never said before is going to come out or maybe I'm going to see something I've never seen before or uh, Maybe I'm going to be so touched, I don't know what to say. I live for those moments, uh, and I encourage everybody to uh, offer that to themselves, or to their family, or to their lovers, or to their work. This moment of where you, uh, I really don't know. And in that don't know, give this whole self a chance to let's find out we're offering a series of programs called a life to live a life to live um, is an extension of the friend work and the unwinding work that we've been presenting in sweden and in denmark and Germany and Holland and soon uh, Norway uh, where in being with yourself and learning the art of being kind and friends to yourself you start unwinding and this unwinding can unwind uh, even difficult things like with unwinding anger, unwinding fear, unwinding grief but sooner or later in the unwinding in the opening you start to realize there's something really good about me I'm not a problem I'm, I'm not deficient um, I have some problems I'm not perfect but the fundamental core of me is good 
And the fundamental core of me really wants to live. And the fundamental core of me really wants to create. And this friend approach that we've had um, to, okay, friends with yourself when you're in a problem, now shift gears into what's it like to be friends with yourself when you realize I'm good? Um, I've got something to share. Um, I'm, there's something in me that really wants to offer. There's something in me that wants to make a difference on planet Earth. Um, there's something in me that um, is loaded uh, with creative potential. And I would like to be friends with myself in a way that supports this uh, outflow of energy from my core into the world. I would like the flow of my energy into the world to um, take me from the place of um, contracted or compressed or projecting on the world to realizing um, we're, we're in a co-creation here. The goodness in me is very creative and the goodness in me can co-create with the goodness of the world. Um, and it's the co-creation of many people that's going to make the difference whether 2012, 2013 uh, is a time of um, stress or a time of love. Uh, a time of breakdown or a time of breakthrough. You know, we have a tremendous capacity to uh, create a beautiful world. Why not do it?